What's up, fellow Earthlings, my YouTube family? Thank you for joining me once again. For those of you that are just joining in on my channel, my name is Austin Lee Hires, aka the King of Junk of the World. <laughs> First, I want to go ahead and do the shout out of the day. Boom. Right here on my hand is the shout out of the day. Oh, hey there. Thanks for joining in on my channel and constantly commenting on all of my videos. I appreciate this person right here. If you want to be the next one that's shouted out on my screen on the next video, go ahead and just comment down below and you just might be that person. I do my best to put a shout out in every video that I have, but sometimes I just forget. So <laughs> um, on those times that I forget, I apologize guys. The last video we found $6,500 and quarters. That video, I left out a bunch of other content that we recorded two videos ago. I showed you a house clean out, or rather the half of a house clean out where we smashed the TV with the bowling ball. Um, today, I'm gonna show you the other half of that house clean out. Also, we're gonna show you a mobile home clean out that we did, and a couple of other small jobs we did between. So I just wanna give you that little bit of context and tell you, you know, kind of why I did it. Um, the last video, I just wanted to show you that one uh, condo clean out um, with all the books and all the small junk because we found that money. Um, that's the largest amount of money that we found ever so far in the junk removal um, industry f uh, for the past four years. After this video, you'll see a video about my new truck and um, what kind of truck it is, what kind of engine it has, um, why I decided to go with this truck, how much we got it for, and um, all the good details. So stay on the lookout for that video. If you guys haven't liked or subscribed to this video or my channel yet, go ahead and do that right now. This is the opportune moment. And uh, without further ado, let's get into it. <laughs> Wow. I thought that would be a lot more exciting. Okay guys, we just arrived at this uh, second junk removal of the day. It's gonna be a full load. I already spoke to the customer and sold the full load for 475. I am currently backing the dumpster into the uh, to the back of the, the back of the house or condo. I don't really even know what this thing is. But I'm getting it here to the back side of it so that way we can load everything easier. And uh, I'll go ahead and do a little walkthrough with the camera so I can show you what we're removing from here. Thank you guys. Please don't forget to hit that like button, please. Hey. hey. Alright, so it turns out I didn't have to back in. I actually should have pulled in forward. We originally thought that backing in was a better plan. But now after evaluating, we are going to pull in forward. Got this stuff here. Okay. Getting these file cabinets, those file cabinets, that TV, that desk, and this small plier right here. And if we can fit it, we're going to get this and that nightstand. We've already got the mattress. Okay. It is close to the end of the day for me guys. 4.30 p.m. right now. Just arrived at uh, my last job of the day, which I uh, we went back to the office, dropped off that dumpster that we filled up, and uh, the boys went home for the day at three o'clock. Now I'm here at 4.30 picking up this dumpster uh, topple. This was one of our one day specials that I just started. It was $229.99 for one day, and we pick it up the next day. Um, I don't even think they used it. I'm not sure, but I'm gonna go over here and uh, check it out. Let's see what we got. All right, so I already got the rails up um, and basically right on where I need to be. Okay, so I got it like uh, halfway filled up. Not too bad, not too bad at all. Okay. 
put my mask on. All right, fellow Earthlings, I'm walking into, uh, this is the mobile home we did a estimate on the other day. Obviously we landed the job because we're here doing it. We have to tear this cabinet out here, um, these shelves in this cabinet. It shouldn't take too much because uh, this is a mobile home and it's really just weak, weak sauce. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna get this cleared out. I am not gonna record a lot of it because we have to get it done. We have to bang this out so we can get to our next job today, which is the rest of the house clean out uh, from earlier. So we're gonna go ahead and bang this out, continue watching, and I'll show you the end result. Alrighty then guys, we're finished, right? Look at the time. Finished, right? at the time. Speaking of time, we're finished. Finished with that job. You wanna go ahead and take some after pictures? Uh no. Nah. Some good old targets. I'll take some after video. Mario, you paying with check like always? Okay. Um obviously we took off uh, you know the shed and the cabinets. Um so let's do six hundred even, alright? All right, quick walk through guys. Got this front area all cleaned out. Uh, we still have to bring this refrigerator outside guys. Just drop it off in the front for what's his name. So Manny's doing a final sweep. We pulled the carpets out and along with all the junk. Got all the cabinets uh, cleaned out. But uh, these cabinets we didn't end up taking out because we don't know if they're structural or not. We don't want to take that chance. So. Definitely got them cleared out though. Richard's uh, walking around with workies, taking some after pictures so that the customer can have all those pictures in their invoice. So yeah, guys, got this place completely cleaned out. I also cleaned out a shed over here across the way. I'll show you that. And got everything out of here as well. Done. Hello, fellow Earthlings. What's going on today? Yeah, today is, uh, what's today, Th Thursday? Right, Friday Eve. Friday Eve, today's Friday Eve, guys. We don't call it Thursday around here. So we got all our tools in the back of the truck. Yesterday we got some loot that's over there, sitting by the, uh, the fence. And we also sure. found a lot of money, guys. A lot of money at that last job. That was the video before this video. So you would have seen it by now. If you watch all my videos and uh, this is the next day after that video just to explain you know where we're at in the timeline guys and uh, we're exhausted ready to do another day of work what's Manny doing back there when the babe calls <laughs> It's literally six minutes from the office, so we're gonna go ahead and head out. I'm gonna drive there. We're gonna finish filming this house uh, today and getting it cleaned out, and then the boys have two other jobs after that. I'm gonna come home and kind of sort through all this stuff, see what's trash and what's good, um, and then I'm gonna count all that cash we found yesterday. That coin cash. Crazy, crazy. This is the man that found it right there. Man, the man. Thank you, Manny, the man. No, thank, thank you, you, bro. If I wasn't there, I wouldn't been able to find it for you. Yeah, bro. <laughs> $500 bonus. I'm going to give Manny the man. I'm going to give Richard a $500 bonus. And I'm also going to give uh, Vlad like $500. Yeah, thank you, guys. Please Wherever hit the like button. Is. Yeah, it's down below. <laughs> down below. Down below. All right, guys. We'll catch you soon. Oh. Check it out, guys. We bought us a Yeti. And guess what? I got it on a deal too. No, yeah, you don't have to put it in there right now. Fuck it. I got a hundred dollars off this Yeti, guys. Instead of two ninety nine, I got it for one ninety nine. Mind moving that chair up a little bit so I don't. Yeah, yeah, I can do that. 
I got the Yeti for $199 because uh, the, 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 what do you call it, the employees put the Yeti on the wrong shelf. So I went to customer service and I said I want it for that price that I just uh, sold it for. And uh, boom, $100 off. What's up family? We just arrived to this job and we're already uh, getting started on the garage area here. So I, I uh, literally we worked on this two days ago and got one load out of here. Right now we're working on loading up a full load for uh, donation. We're going to go to Goodwill and donate a full load. So I think we could probably donate the washer and dryer too, right? Or, or we could just scrap it. That's probably the best way. So we've got uh, we've got a table in here. We've got a china cabinet, a bookshelf. It's kind of dark in here. Um, we've also got like a bar right here. Um, some other miscellaneous out here on the porch, and then the rest of the kitchen, which is just a wreck right now. Got a couple pieces up here by the front door. And we have this room full of furniture, which we will be able to donate literally all of this. Um, it's really actually nice furniture. So we'll be able to donate that with the end tables, that dresser, and we'll probably throw the headboard and mattress away. We'll donate the mirrors. Um, so yeah, we'll be able to donate. We will be able to donate majority of this junk removal uh, So that we could save money on our dump fees and uh, Yeah, that's the tip of the day guys. Just always remember that you can donate these things Sometimes you get in this uh, flow of just going to the landfill going to the landfill and you don't remember that I could save a lot of money if I just donate so uh, Just keep that in the back of your head Donations they can save money and also you can have it as a tax write-off, so. Where'd it go, where'd it go? Oh my God, where'd it go? I didn't even see it fucking move, dude. Neither did I. What? I'm to you, man, I just said this. You just said what? He's brown, he camouflages, bro. Oh my God, guys, look at this spider. Holy fuck, this thing's huge. Holy hell, dude, it has something white. Is that eggs? eggs. Dude, this thing is huge. Half the size of my hand. I'm, re I'm standing really far away from it right now, by the way. This thing is just, oh my God. Yeah, guys. Oh my God. This is what you gotta deal with in some situations like this. Oh God. Oh, you, you got his eggs. Now he's pissed. Now he's pissed. Oh God, he's huge. I get him out of here, bro. <laughs> Holy shit, I almost ripped over that wheel, bro. Nah, scrap it. Richard, you ready for a game of horseshoes? TV horseshoes, always ready. TV horseshoes, slow motion, here we go. Okay, so we got two dressers, three dressers so far, two end tables, 
We're on the way out with a uh, another dresser that is donatable. Then we have a coffee table and a few lamps, and we're gonna head out to the donation um, place of our choice, which right now is Goodwill because it's the most uh, efficient. It's gonna be the closest place to travel to. So I don't choose my donation place by like who they are and what they do. I choose it by what's most efficient and best for my business. So tip of the day, guys, another tip of the day. By your boy. What we got going on in here? Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, watch the step, Austin. All right, coming up on it. One, two, three. That was a little delayed. <laughs> All right, we're gonna get this stuff loaded in here, guys, along with a few other lamps and miscellaneous. We're gonna get to the uh, donation center. Stay tuned. All right, you guys. <laughs> so we just left Goodwill, and I was supposed to record while we were there, but I forgot. <laughs> so we just left Goodwill. Everything that we were donating, besides one little table, they took, and they're happy to take. We are happy to give it to them. Woo. So now we're going back to the job. We're gonna get all the crap, get all the trash, get all the debris, and load it, and haul it, and dump it. Save money on them dump fees. You yeah, you. Yeah. Man, are you eating something? <laughs> <laughs> Where's it at? Where's the food at? <laughs> oh, hey, Richard. I'd just like to thank the Academy. I'd like to thank my boss. I'd like to thank my, like to thank my coworker. I'd like to tear up. Oh, I'd like to thank God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. We got Lewis, the you scrap know? guy. You good, dog? You good, homie? What you doing? What the fuck? Getting out of our way. One thing you'll notice about me is I always use the people around me to the best of my abilities. Um, so like right now we're at this job clearing out the house and we're putting all the scrap metal aside like we always do. Um, and I have this guy Lewis, he just pulled up here. Uh, he's gonna go ahead and just remove all the scrap metal, take it to the scrap yard, and um, if he gets a good amount, he usually gives me a couple of bucks, but if not, I just let him keep all the money. And that helps us get rid of all the junk in the house, all the metal junk. We don't have to bring it to the landfill and pay those dump fees. So he's actually saving me money by doing this. Um, and, I, and I use people around me in this kind of way all the time. If there's other services around you, other people that you can use that own their own businesses, maybe uh, another local small business, use them um, in your jobs to make them go quicker to make them go more efficient to, to, to make you more money to save money There's so many benefits to uh, using the people around you. So if you have competition uh, In town, maybe don't think about them as competition and think about them as someone that could help you in a time of need uh, Anyway, we're gonna get get uh, that's the that's another probably like that's the third or fourth tip of the day I gave today um, I hope you guys are having a good day out there and uh, just grinding and hauling and getting that money. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel down below and hit the like button which is that, th that thumbs up down below. If you have an iPhone you click on it and it turns white and if you've got an Android you do click on it and it turns blue. So make sure to make, make that, uh, that thumb symbol change colors down below for me and, uh, and give me another like. We'll talk to you guys soon. We're going to get this house cleaned out. We actually found a few things in this house that are uh, valuable as well. Uh, not nearly as much as the thousands of dollars we found in quarters at the previous house. You'll see me in Austin tomorrow probably. Peace. Peace. Peace.